In the timeless words of Marcus Aurelius, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. This powerful assertion lays the foundation for Stoicism, an ancient philosophy that, despite its age, provides invaluable insights into dealing with life's inevitable challenges. As we navigate through the turbulence of modern life, the stoic wisdom of figures like Marcus Aurelius, Seneca, and Epictetus offers a beacon of resilience and strength. Stoicism Founded in the early 3rd century BC by Zeno of Sidium, has endured through the ages Thanks to its practical approach to life's adversities, Seneca, a prominent Stoic philosopher, eloquently stated, Life is like a play, it's not the length, but the excellence of the acting that matters. This philosophy teaches us that the value of our lives is not determined by its duration or the challenges we face, but by how we respond to them. Drawing a parallel between Stoic resilience and physical laws. We can liken the Stoic practice to Newton's third law, for every action. There is an equal and opposite reaction. Just as this law governs the physical realm. Stoicism suggests that facing challenges with fortitude and grace strengthens our character. Creating an internal force that is capable of withstanding life's pressures. 7 Stoic Methods for Resilience 1. Understand what is within your control The Stoic principle of the dichotomy of control is foundational to the practice of Stoicism. It instructs us to clearly distinguish between what is within our power to control and what is not. Our thoughts, perceptions, and actions fall into the realm of our control. In contrast, the actions of others, the whims of fate, and external events are beyond our direct influence. This distinction is crucial for cultivating resilience and peace in the face of life's challenges. By focusing our energy and efforts on our own behavior and responses, we gain a profound sense of empowerment. This approach does not mean we become passive in the face of adversity. Instead, it empowers us to take meaningful action where we can make a difference, while also accepting what cannot be changed with grace and composure. Practically, this can be implemented by taking a moment to pause when faced with a challenge, asking oneself, is this within my control? If the answer is yes, then you proceed with action. If no, then you shift your focus to adjusting your perspective and emotional response to the situation, thus maintaining your inner peace. 2. Practice mindfulness and presence. Epictetus, a slave turned influential Stoic philosopher, placed a strong emphasis on the power of living in the present moment. He taught that the past is unchangeable and the future is unpredictable. But the present is where we have the power to shape our destiny. Dwelling on past mistakes or worrying about future outcomes only serves to distract us from the opportunities and decisions that lie before us right now. Mindfulness and presence are practices that enable us to live fully in the moment. Appreciating life as it happens and engaging fully with our current experiences. This does not mean ignoring the past or future entirely, but recognizing that the only true moment of influence is the present. Through practices such as meditation, journaling, or simply pausing to breathe and observe one's surroundings, we can cultivate a more mindful approach to life. This practice helps us to maintain focus, reduce stress, and respond more effectively to the challenges that arise. 3. Anticipate Challenges Marcus Aurelius, perhaps the most famous of the Stoic philosophers, 
advocated for a realistic approach to daily life. He suggested that we should start each day by reminding ourselves that we will face challenges, obstacles, and difficult people. This anticipation is not a form of pessimism, but a practical way to prepare oneself mentally for the day ahead. Seeing challenges as opportunities to practice virtues like patience, understanding, and resilience transforms our relationship with adversity. Instead of being surprised or overwhelmed by difficulties, we can view them as part of the natural course of life. Tests that help us grow stronger and more virtuous. This mindset shift enables us to approach problems with a calm and focused mind. Looking for solutions and learning from the experience rather than becoming frustrated or discouraged. Implementing this approach involves a simple morning reflection. Considering the day ahead and acknowledging the potential for obstacles. This mental preparation primes us to face challenges with a constructive attitude, seeing them as part of our path to personal growth and wisdom. 4. Reframe your perspective, embracing Amor Fati. The stoic concept of Amor Fati, which translates to the love of fate, encourages a profound acceptance and enthusiasm for life as it unfolds. Regardless of circumstances, this principle teaches us to see every event, whether we initially perceive it as good or bad, as an essential and enriching part of our life's journey. By embracing our fate with joy and acceptance, we align ourselves with the natural flow of life. Finding peace in the inevitability of change and the cyclical nature of fortunes, Reframing your perspective according to a more fatty involves a radical shift in how we interpret the events of our lives. It requires seeing challenges not as hindrances but as opportunities for growth, character development, and the practice of virtue. This doesn't mean we seek out suffering or disregard the pain that comes with certain experiences. Instead, it means we find value and meaning in all aspects of life. Trusting in the bigger picture and our own capacity to navigate it with grace. To practice a more fatty. Start by observing your reactions to different situations. Especially those that initially seem negative. Challenge yourself to find the silver lining or the lesson to be learned. Over time. This practice can transform your overall outlook, leading to a more content and resilient disposition. 5. Cultivate Self Discipline Self Discipline stands as a cornerstone in the stoic pursuit of virtue and resilience. It's about more than just resisting temptation or exerting willpower. It's about creating a life that is in harmony with your values and principles. Stoicism advocates for setting clear boundaries for oneself and adhering to a set of moral and ethical standards that guide one's choices and actions. This disciplined approach to life fosters self, control, inner strength, and a sense of purpose. Cultivating self. Discipline in the Stoic sense involves a few key practices. First, it requires self. Reflection to understand your values and what is truly important to you. Once these values are clear, set goals and boundaries that reflect them. For instance, if one values health and well, being, Establishing a routine that includes exercise, healthy eating, and adequate rest is a form of self. Discipline that honors those values. Additionally, practicing moderation in all aspects of life is a vital aspect of stoic self. Discipline. This means avoiding excess and practicing restraint. Whether it's in relation to physical pleasures, emotions, or even work. Through moderation, 
We learn to appreciate what we have. Find contentment in simplicity. And maintain balance. Thereby avoiding the pitfalls of overindulgence that can lead to unhappiness and dissatisfaction. Implementing self. Discipline also requires consistency and perseverance. It's about making choices that align with your values. Even when it's difficult. This might mean waking up early to meditate or study. Choosing not to engage in gossip. Or saying no to distractions that detract from your goals. Over time, these disciplined choices build a strong, resilient character. Capable of facing life's challenges with stoic calm and confidence. 6. Develop empathy and compassion. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic philosopher and Roman emperor, placed great emphasis on the virtues of empathy and compassion in his writings. He believed in seeing the goodness in others and understanding their perspectives, recognizing that everyone is fighting their own battles. By developing empathy, we step into the shoes of others, share their feelings, and extend our compassion towards their struggles. This practice not only benefits those around us, but also enriches our own lives, fostering a deep sense of connectedness and community. Empathy and compassion in the Stoic context are not mere feelings, but active practices. To develop empathy, one can start by listening attentively to others making a conscious effort to withhold judgment and fully understand their point of view. It involves acknowledging the shared human experience, recognizing that, like us, others seek happiness and wish to avoid suffering. Practicing compassion can involve small acts of kindness, offering support, or simply being present for someone in need. Over time, these practices diminish the sense of separation between ourselves and others, nurturing a community where support and understanding flow freely. 7. Reflect and practice gratitude. Reflection and gratitude are powerful practices within Stoicism, shifting our focus from what we lack to the abundance that is present in our lives. Marcus Aurelius himself practiced gratitude diligently, often reflecting on the blessings of his life despite the immense pressures of his role. This practice is about recognizing the value of every experience, the contributions of others to our well-being, and the simple pleasures that life offers. To incorporate reflection and gratitude into your life, start or end your day with a gratitude journal. List three things you are grateful for each day no matter how small or significant they may seem. This practice can transform your perspective, making you more resilient in the face of challenges. Instead of dwelling on what went wrong or what's missing, you'll begin to see opportunities for growth and reasons for joy. Gratitude also extends to how we perceive challenges and adversities. By reflecting on past difficulties and acknowledging the strength, wisdom, or support we received during those times. We can cultivate a sense of gratitude for the growth these experiences have spurred. This doesn't mean glossing over pain or difficulty, but recognizing their role in our personal development. As you reflect on these stoic methods, I encourage you to engage with these concepts actively. How does the idea of controlling only what is within your reach change your reaction to stress? Can embracing a more fatty transform your perspective on a current challenge? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. This interaction is not only about sharing knowledge, but also about building a community of individuals committed to personal growth and resilience. I also invite you to like, share, and subscribe for more content that explores the depth of Stoic philosophy and its application in modern life.
Your engagement helps spread these timeless principles to others who may find solace and strength in them. In summarizing, the seven stoic methods for resilience, understanding what is within our control, practicing mindfulness, anticipating challenges, reframing our perspective, cultivating self, discipline, developing empathy and compassion, and reflecting and practicing gratitude offer a comprehensive approach to building inner strength. These practices guide us in transforming challenges into opportunities for growth, leading to a more fulfilled and resilient life. As we part ways, I encourage you not just to read about these principles, but to live them. Implement these stoic methods in your daily life and observe the shifts in your perception and reality. Remember, the journey towards resilience is ongoing. A path marked by continuous learning and self. Discovery. Let us end with another empowering quote from Marcus Aurelius. The best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injury. Let this serve as a reminder that our greatest strength lies in our response to adversity. Not in the adversity itself. Embrace the wisdom of Stoicism. And let it guide you through the difficult days. For in its teachings, you will find an unwavering source of strength and resilience. Your engagement, your practice, and your journey towards resilience are what truly bring these ancient teachings to life. Share your progress, your struggles, and your insights. Together, let's cultivate a community that embodies the stoic virtues of wisdom courage, justice, and temperance. Remember, it's not just about surviving difficult days, but thriving through them with grace and strength.